Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and I'm back with a part of a spring cleaning collab, and this was organized by Tori Toth from Stylish Stagers. I will leave links in the description box down below for all of their channels, and there's a bunch of videos all centered around the idea of how we can spring clean our home and get started to make our homes look as lovely as possible for this spring. So what I'm actually going to show you is a project that I decided to work on, and what I did was I repurposed this hutch. And previously it was holding some perfumes and random, you know, odds and ends that I had around the house. And it wasn't being as functional as it could be. And it was getting kind of messy too. And because this is part of a focal point in our home, I thought that I would reorganize it and make it more functional for us. So my problem area was this hutch that I found online at a public fiduciary auction. It was $65. I repainted it, repurposed it, and it had just an accumulation of a bunch of random stuff and it wasn't really serving a really good purpose. So I decided to turn it into kind of a mini library where I can hold some of our most used books or current books that we're reading. So I went ahead and picked out different books um, that the kids use, that my husband uses, that I use, some books from school, that sort of thing. And I put it in our home so that this is more of a focal point and it's just easy for us to use. So how I solved it is I decided to group everything in different ways and I have three separate tips that you can use so that you can create your own kind of bookcase arrangement and have it look you know, as functional as possible and beautiful at the same time. So my first tip for a beautiful bookcase is to go ahead and pick your books and figure out how you're going to arrange them. Some popular ways to arrange them is by size, by color, or also alphabetically by author's name. So figure out which system works best for you and then go ahead and organize them. So the way that we organized ours is mostly by size. We tried to pick like items and put them together by size so it's just easier and it looks more pleasing to the eye. And my second tip for you guys is to make small groups by type. This just makes it so much easier to keep it organized. On the top shelf you can see that I have a small grouping of some books that I have for a literature course and it just makes it easy for me to reference them and to keep them organized because they're all grouped together. Um, down below near the letter M you can see that there's a group of hardcover novels and they're less referenced but they're really beautiful and they make a great kind of standalone um, element. And if you look at some other ones you can use reference books or cooking books and put them together and it just keeps it more organized and quicker for you to find. And the third tip that I wanted to share is to use special decorative elements in your collection here. And I have separating my daughter's books and my son's book. Uh, one of my daughter's favorite little pieces that she found at an antique store. It makes a really great bookend. And we also have some light up letters and some crystals and a little owl that I found at a thrift store and a jewelry box that my mother gave me and just some other personal cute little elements. I made a little basket there and I made um, a little picture frame with some letters and stuff. So you can choose little elements that mean something to you and it makes your whole collection a lot more attractive. So I hope these little spring cleaning tips help you to have a beautiful organized bookshelf. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure to check out all the other links of the other channels and there's some really great ideas coming out of this group. I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!